Virtual cycling tour. Three words you've probably thought you'd never hear in the same sentence, but with the technological advancements of indoor training in 2020, really anything is possible. This is the seventh year the Suffer Fest has actually hosted a virtual cycling tour. It's called the Tour of Sufferlandria. Every year, the indoor cycling community joins forces to tackle a nine day, nine stage tour in order to raise money for the Davis Finney Foundation. To enter, you pledge at least a $10 donation to the Davis Finney Foundation. And from that, you were entered into a prize draw to win a Wahoo Kicker bike, a cycling holiday to the French Alps with the Cole Collective, along with a whole host of different prizes. With the weather system, currently plaguing Northern Europe. I can sum it up in one word, grim. The opportunity to ride the 2020 incarnation of the tour couldn't have been any more perfectly timed. Also, very, very quickly, guys, before we jump into this video, Sufferfest very, very kindly offered to give the chance of one of you guys, one of the viewers watching right now, a one-year free subscription to the Sufferfest. All you need to do to enter is click the link down below, sign up. You'll get a 30-day free trial. You don't have to put your card details in or anything. Uh, hold up. It's actually a 14 day free trial. However, I have spoke to the guys and they have agreed to give my viewers 30 days free trial. All you need to do is enter the code CAMSUFFERS at checkout. The only difference is you do need to enter your card details. However, if you do decide to go for a yearly subscription, you'll get $12.99 off. If this sounds confusing, I'm sorry. All the details will be in the description down below. And in about a week, one lucky viewer will receive an email in their inbox with a code for a one year subscription. So before I start, these nine stages I wanted to do uh, some power some fitness testing to just kind of set my levels and to see where I'm currently at in terms of my fitness the suffer fest has a session called the 4dp full frontal test and how this differs from a standard FTP test is instead of it taking one power test and creating you know your power profile the 4dp takes four different tests it takes a sprint a five minute effort, a 20 minute effort, and then a one minute effort to work out your full power profile. That means the sessions in Sufferfest, the zones can be more tailored to you specifically as a person. So when we load up the app, because I've already selected the Tour of Sufferlandria 2020, it's automatically added all the workouts to my calendar. So here today we're doing a workout called, it seemed like a good idea at the time, one hour 57 and the cool thing about the suffer fest is every single workout has its own individual name all right then here we go stage number one stage number one is basically an endurance ride with a few, with a few threshold variations so that's 30 minutes and kind of the first set done really like the fact that it's playing some old uh, Giro del Trentino in the background from about 2010. We've also got the power numbers at the bottom that we've got to stick by. And it's cool because the fundamental of this session is a 3 times 20 minute sweet spot. But it's not just like a straight line. It's more like you're riding outside on the road. So you have surges out of corners, other bits where you might be freewheeling down a descent. And yeah, man, 33, 35 minutes. And so far, time's passing like a breeze. And I'm starting to make a bit of a mess of the floor. Oh dear. So that is stage one of the tour completed. I've got all of my data here on the results page. As we can see, we had a normalized power of today of 327, average watts of 305. And this is basically the power graph for the whole session. Honestly, having that constant variation of power going up and down just makes the time pass so much quicker. And dare I say, I actually enjoyed that two hours in the turbo. It was quite a hard session to kick off the tour, but that is stage one done. And it's important now I eat well and drink well and recover ahead of stage two tomorrow so i've just loaded up the app for day number two for stage number two and it looks like today we've got two different sessions to do so what i'm gonna do is do them back to back first off we've got this one here called the bat which basically looks like uh, six threshold efforts with sprints either side of them. And secondly, we've got Fight Club, which again kind of looks like some threshold efforts with some sprints involved. All in all, it's going to be another two hour day on the turbo, so let's get it done. All right, here we go. Clipping in. Let's get this show on the road. Legs actually feel a little bit tired today, but I'm sure we'll be all right. That is four down and two to go. We've got four minutes recovery periods between the efforts and basically the way they work is 30 seconds at around 450 watts. Straight into four minutes, just under threshold for some me, for me. 
That's about 355, finishing off with another 30 seconds at 450 watts. They're starting to hurt now, a little bit, quite a lot. So that is stage 2A done. This tour is appropriately named Tour of Suffolandria, and suffering is what I just did. That's the all important magic graph for the session. Normalized power of just under 340 watts. Session number two of the day. I was gonna take a break between the two sessions, but we keep things rolling, the show goes on. Got my number one mascot watching over me. That is session number two of the day done. Currently just cooling down now for the next three minutes. Second session was actually an easier session than the first one. It was basically 24 sprints from like a low zone three base. But after the fatigue accumulation from the first session, Felt pretty hard. Like you soon lost interest, got bored and fell asleep. So I'm just sat here drinking my protein shake, looking through the different workouts on the Sufferfest app. And I came across this. Basically there's three different options for like how hard you want these two weeks worth of efforts to be. So either you can have nuclear, which is like 100%, get me through it, which is a little bit easier, and then the focused option, which is even easier. And I just realized for my session, I clicked nuclear, which is like the hardest numbers, the biggest numbers. I'm gonna keep it at nuclear now to try and keep banging out the, the efforts at 100%, but at least I know I've got that option to make it a little bit easier as the days go on. After four hours of specific intervals over the past two days, stage three's 45 minute workout came as a bit of a welcomed blessing. Granted, it was also a little bit of an easier day to day, Essentially, we had 12 two minute efforts to do at threshold, but the goal was to do these between 50 and 60 RPM. That way you're really having to engage your hamstring and glutes. It's essentially like doing squats in the gym. And even though my face might not look it here, believe me, I was thankful for an easier day. Day number four today, and I think today is the day that I'm kind of most nervous about so far. Just been out for an easy little one hour pre-turbo ride, consuming some caffeine before this session because I think we're gonna need it. So essentially the fundamentals of today's session is a team time trial. The session's called Team Scream. It basically is replicating what a one hour team time trial would look like. So we've got sections here where we're on the front of the train doing 400 watts, but then when we're in the wheels, we drop back down to you know 300 or so. So the whole session is just gonna be up and down, up and down, up and down. It's gonna be a hard one. I think there's no doubt about that. In the last 10 minutes, eight minutes, trying to focus and keeping my cadence nice and high. The first half of this ride didn't feel too bad, but the last, the last 15 minutes are like full gas, taking a lot of focus. A lot of focus is required. These eight second recovery periods just go far too fast. <laughs> Finishing off with a minute 30 at 430 watts. Ah. Ah. Woo. I was about to say that session wasn't that hard, but it got hard. Last 10 minutes. So there is the all important graph. There's one hour 10 that second session of the day. It's 334 normalized power and a TSS of 95. And honestly, that was the best session yet. I'm not sure whether it's because I've ridden myself into the intervals over the past few days or because I did a one hour ride before I did the intervals. But either way, mega session today and I hit all the targets. Don't be fooled, I will take the hoodie off as soon as I've warmed up in like two minutes time. It's just quite cold in the garage. But on today's menu is sprints. And actually we've got 64 sprints to complete in one hour. Actually, this is arguably, arguably gonna be the hardest session for me. Like my biggest, my biggest weakness is that repetitive efforts, especially when those efforts are at well over a thousand watts. Ah. 
Right, two sets down, one set to go. All right, this is the hardest session yet. Starting to feel real sick. Might end up being sick. <coughs> Stage number five done. Four more stages to go. 64 sprints in one hour. 64 sprints in one hour today. I've got my legs feeling like jelly. And I think now I need a lie down. What I'm starting to learn more and more about the tour is it's a lot more mental than it is physical. You think that you can't do the session, you think that 64 sprints is pretty much impossible, but actually when you put your mind to it, when you try and give it 100% mental focus, you can actually do it. Woo! Oh. These days are going so fast. How is it time to train again already? Stage number six today, three more days to go after this. I also went to the gym last night. I thought it'd be a good idea. I haven't been for a few weeks. Turns out it wasn't a good idea, but hey, the main thing is we learn from these mistakes. We push forward and we keep things moving. Time to train. Two 20 minute efforts done and dusted this morning. One more to finish off with, and that's three minutes full gas. Riding at threshold is one thing, but riding at threshold and then attacking from that power and straight back into threshold. Stage six, I think, was the hardest one yet. So this is the post-workout graph. As you can see, the gray, the dark gray is where we're supposed to have hit. And for the most part, I mean, we hit it, but there's a couple of points where the power dropped off, man. Tour of Sufferlandria, stage number seven this morning. Quite an early start to my day. It's currently 5.37. I'm just jumping on the turbo trainer right now. Got a busy day ahead of me, hence the early start. The fatigue is really starting to feel real. We've actually got two sessions to do this morning, the Igniter and Joyride. Together they total 52 minutes. And the first one is basically like a bit of a prog progressive effort with a couple of sprints at the end. Shouldn't be too difficult. One down, one to go. Now it's time for Joyride. Again, it's essentially a bit of a progressive warm up straight into five short efforts. It's a nice, short, sharp, fiery session to start the day. I'm gonna overlay the graphic there for stage 7B. As you can see, not necessarily the hardest of sessions are only 30 minutes long and a normalized power of 335 watts. But I think what's really starting to take its toll with this whole tour is the lack of recovery and the lack of rest. It's basically nine days long with no rest days, no recovery. And therefore, every single day, the fatigue is building and building. But just two more stages now, and then we'll have completed the tour 100% on nuclear, finished. Day number eight. On the cards today was two hours, totaling a training stress score of 173, AKA high. Here is the power profile from both sessions. They consisted of a lot of time spent in zone four and five, and I failed. I failed the workout for the first time of this tour. I could easily have lied and told you guys that I did it as prescribed, but I like to keep things real here, and today I struggled. The accumulated fatigue over the past seven days had finally caught up with me. I did 30 minutes of the session and a couple of sprints before jumping off the turbo. It's really important to know your body and know when to push and know when to back off. I did, however, head out for a real easy one hour spin on the road to try and freshen up so we can hit tomorrow hard and finish the tour strong. It's day number nine. We did it. We got to the final day of the 2020 Tour of Suffolandria. Today's session is possibly, arguably, the biggest and hardest day yet with a total session length of three hours long. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is break it up into, into a split day. Therefore, I'm gonna do two hours this morning and then one hour later on this afternoon slash this evening. This first session is called Power Station and it's basically a series of three to four minute efforts at threshold. A couple of spikes here at zone four and five, but it should be a nice way to start off the day. So obviously we failed yesterday's session. We failed stage number eight of the tour, but we're gonna finish it strong and we're not quitting today. That's the first session done, just doing the cool down period now. And then we'll jump into session number two. Feeling pretty good today. Or at least feeling better than I did yesterday.
So that's session number two, and hour number two completed. The session was basically three times eight minute efforts with a bit of an extended warm up. But again, much like the theme of the workouts on the Suffer Fest, they weren't just eight flat minutes, they had peaks and rises and little attacks. I was starting to suffer towards the end, but that variation in power was keeping it interested and making the time pass nice and fast. But most importantly, that's two hours down. We got one more hour to go. I'm gonna jump off the trainer right now, get some food, chill out for a few hours, recover a little bit, and then we'll hit the last hour hard and finish this tour on a high. It's, it's now dark outside, but hour number three is about to go down. Great to our final session. It's basically one hour. Sat at like 320 watts with periods up to like 4, 450. Straight back into 300, pressing on for an hour. Currently sat at 344 watts for the next five minutes. All right guys, that is stage number nine out of nine. Done, nice grippy little session to finish it off with, but woo, that's it done, man, that's it done. I've created a nice little swimming pool in the garage. Much sweat was created in that session. And just like that, the nine stages, the nine days are over. I think it was a total of around 13 or 14 hours worth of training over the past nine days. Most of which were doing efforts and intervals but honestly, it's been some of the most enjoyable turbo sessions I've ever done. I'm filming this clip two days after the final stage right now, and honestly, my legs are still broken. But I wanna thank Sufferfest for inviting me on board of the 2020 Tour of Sufferlandria. I've had so much fun. Remember guys, if you wanna get yourself one year's free subscription, all you need to do is download the Sufferfest by clicking the link in the description, get a 30 day free trial. You don't have to put your card details in or anything. And one of you lucky viewers will receive an email in your inbox with a one year subscription completely free make sure you try out Sufferfest for yourself with that being said thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and guys I'll see you in my next video